Okay, in this video we're going to look at checkpoint 13.8 and 13.9 to further develop our understanding. Okay, so this one will be quite simple, but it's a good foundation. A one kilogram brick is placed on a spring scale. There's a scale and there's a one kilogram brick. What is the magnitude of the force exerted by Earth on the brick? Well, we know that it's just equal to mg which is equal to 1 kilogram times 9.81 so it's 9.8 Newton okay so that's what we get there okay uh, what is the magnitude of the force exerted by the brick on the scale exerted by the brick onto the scale okay so what we can do so here's the brick and there's the scale okay uh, let's draw a free body diagram of the brick what are the forces acting on the brick we've got F G earth on the brick we've got F normal or let's call it F contact of the scale what do they call it they call it contact yes uh, scale on the brick and because some of the forces in the y direction, that's the y direction, is zero, we can say that FSB is F gravity EB. So this force of the scale, the scale on the brick, that force over there, is equal to the gravitational force that's pulling it down. But we also know that if I just separate these in my mind, then this upward force is equal to that downward force. They're an interaction pair. So F contact of the brick onto the scale equals this contact force of the scale onto the brick. So this also equals F B S brick onto the scale. All right, because of this interaction pair. All right, so. So the question is, what is the magnitude of the force exerted by the brick on the scale? Right, that's exactly what I just said, okay? So, it also equals that 9.8. The brick on the scale, FBS, is equal to the, is equal to this gravitational force. So you're saying, well, this is quite trivial. This is quite trivial. Okay. Um, D. Does the spring scale measure the pull of gravity? You're like, what is going on here? Does the spring scale measure the pull of gravity on the brick? In this case, yes, because you found that this value, right, the brick, the force of the brick on the spring scale equals the gravitational force. On the brick however this is the interesting thing you we may think that this question is trivial but let's do 39 and see something else okay so question 39 says um, it says a one kilogram brick could even be that exact same brick is placed on a spring scale however now it's inside a space shuttle orbiting at 300 kilometers okay there's the earth there's the shuttle okay I know this is not to scale at all okay but there's the 300 kilometers what is the magnitude of the force exerted by earth on the brick well we saw that in checkpoint 137 we saw that at 300 kilometers the gravitational, so the acceleration would be, it was at 0.91, if you recall, times 9.81, right? So the, the gravitational acceleration is very similar to that value. It's very close, right? It's 0.91 times that one. So the force of gravity at 300 kilometers is 1 kilogram times that 
So it's 8.9 and it says here, almost the same as at the surface of the earth. Almost the same. Okay, that is an important point there. It's almost the same. Okay? But this we spoke about earlier in a previous video. That the forces and the, and the accelerations are similar on the surface of the earth or at 300 kilometers uh, above the surface. Now this is the point. What is the magnitude of the force exerted by the brick on the spring scale? So here we saw that it was the same. As, gravi as the gravitational force? The answer is, if you put that scale on the Earth, or if you put it in, uh, in that uh, shuttle, in the shuttle, it, the, the reading on the scale is going to be zero. Why? Because the brick floats. No force is necessary to support it, because everything around it has the same downward acceleration. So this will cover in the next maybe one or two videos. But but I know it's, it's hard to see. But the everything inside the shuttle has a downward acceleration of that 8.9 meters per second squared. So if you put <laughs> if you put a brick on a scale, but they're both falling, right? Then the reading on the scale will be zero. Okay? Everything around it has the same downward acceleration. So C says, asks, does the spring scale measure the pull of gravity on the brick? Does the spring scale measure the pull of gravity? Answer is no. The scale measures nothing. Why is that? Even though the Earth is pulling this brick down, F, G, E, B, right? Even though the Earth is pulling it down, the Earth pulls on the brick nearly as hot. Um, it's pulling on, on everything. Everything is accelerating, so the spring scale will have no reading, okay? Now the question is why? Why is your answer different from your answer in checkpoint 13.8? The answer is different because the reference frame of the shuttle is accelerating towards the earth. Guys, this is crazy. But the shuttle, right? There's the shuttle. There's the shuttle, okay? The shuttle is accelerating down towards the earth. And everything inside it is accelerating down. So both the brick and this the spring scale is accelerating down. Alright, we'll we'll try to explain this more in the next one.